What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is up everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. Before we jump into this one, I want to go ahead and announce our giveaway winner for the Aquaria giveaway. First of all, we had a lot of entries. I am saying a lot. This is probably more than I think we've ever had in any of our giveaways. The support was amazing. Thank you guys. Seriously, thank you so, so much. We couldn't do it without you guys, so the, the fact that you're willing to support us in that way means a ton. Uh, now, giveaway winner time. Thomas Lennon, you are our giveaway winner. Uh, we went ahead and messaged you, uh, so if you will kind of follow those instructions, we'll make sure we can get you that uh, that free Aquaria bundle. Uh, and again, thank you to everybody for entering. Uh, it means a ton. So seriously, you guys are the best. Really appreciate it. But today, we're going to be trying out a deck um, inspired by... Uh, I I've mentioned Adam, I don't know how many times, but Adam gave us so many deck suggestions, it is ridiculous. We're testing something out with him, uh, and this one is a Demir Reanimator deck. Now, he did suggest a very different list. I'm going to try this one out. This is one that I kind of put together myself uh, a, little, a little while ago, actually, uh, and I just wanted to see if it would work. I don't know, uh, honestly. It, it plays off of the idea that uh, Gigan or Garuda uh, is really, really good, but as a companion, it means you can't run things like Agent of Treachery. Uh, so what I'd like to do is see if just running it in the main deck uh, still gives you really, really good viability. Now, obviously, we're going to be lacking consistency, uh, and this is a Demir deck. We're not ramping into it, so we've got a little bit more of the kind of control pieces uh, to kind of help us get there. So we're going to try this. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this is very much a shot in the dark, so just go know that going into it. But uh, looking at the deck, we do have Merfolk Secret Keeper here. Uh, it's a really good early way to not only clog up the board, but also get a few cards into our graveyard. Uh, for one mana, we put four of them in there. That's pretty good for us. That's what we need to do. We need to fill it up. We're looking to get things like Thassa, uh, Garuda, or Agent of Treachery in there. Uh, and so this just helps us do that. Uh, Fibblethip as a two of here. We don't want to draw too many of these, but uh, this is a really just great card. I think uh, it's one that draws you a card uh, when it comes into play, and then if it's targeted by a spell, it actually gets shuffled into your deck, which Blood for Bones uh, makes a, for a really nice little combo there. So uh, this actually sh uh, throws it back into our deck, and then we can hopefully draw it again and draw another card. So uh, I just really like Fibblethip. I think it's a nice little, you know, addition to this. Um, in the three drop slot, we've got uh, four Murderous Rider. I'm really worried about Planeswalkers uh, because I don't think we've got a fantastic way to deal with them. Uh, and so this just gives us a great way to do that uh, and just get a creature out for something like Blood for Bones uh, later on as well. Uh, Tomebound Lich, uh, very, very important in this deck in my opinion. Um, mostly because it gives you a way to discard cards uh, immediately. Uh, it gives you a way to get, you know, if you've got an agent or a Garuda in your hand, uh, it gives you a way to dish it, plus uh, it just clogs up the board as well. It has lifelink, so you're not going to get a ton of life out of this, but uh, every little point counts, and it has death touch, so it does kind of require a removal spell uh, on the opponent's end. Um, Ashiok here, another way to get stuff into our graveyard and exile the opponent's graveyard. I'm running two of these. I could easily see running more solely because there are so many graveyard decks going around right now uh, that this really, really is a crucial card. Uh, so very, very good in my opinion. Fossa, an absolute all-star for a couple reasons. So uh, one, obviously with either uh, Garuda or Agent of Treachery, it's fantastic. You get multiple, uh, multiple triggers off of them. Great. It also really works well with Fibblethip and Tomebound Lich. So a nice curve would be like one, two, three, four, uh, and then hopefully hit something like a Concoct on five. That way you you kind of get instant value on every single turn. Uh, Thassa just gives you a lot of options there. Really, really strong card. Blood for Bones is one of our two reanimator spells. Uh, we do have it as a four of because we do have quite a bit of creatures in the early game, so it's usually not too difficult to, to have to sacrifice one. 
Uh, Concoct is the other one here. Uh, and we actually have Connive as a viable option as well, depending on the matchup. But ideally, we're going to be playing Concoct. Surveil 3, uh, hopefully get something off of that Surveil if we don't already have something, and then put a creature card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Uh, that's very, very powerful for us. Uh, and then, of course, Garuda and Agent of Treachery. Agent here to steal things from the opponent. Uh, Garuda here to kind of keep us going and maybe even steal some stuff from their graveyard, if not our own. Uh, and then here we're running 24 lands. I'm not running Fabled Passage, uh, but I did decide to go for the four Temple of Deceit. Uh, we have to be pretty careful. It, what's great is to know that you've got like a really good threat on top of your deck and then be able to Secret Keeper or, you know, Tome Bound Lich, do something to get it into the graveyard. Uh, and so I do lean on the temples here, but I don't want to have too many tapped lands, which is why I'm not running any Fabled Passages. And that's the deck. We're going to try this. I I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, I've only tested like one game uh, and it kind of, I mean, we got some of our stuff to work, um, but I don't, we didn't win it. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I am very interested to see how this goes. I think this will be a fun one. So uh, we'll see. Um, and feel free, of course, if you enjoy the video, leave a like or a comment down below. We would appreciate it. Um, this is an interesting hand. Um, we are against a Karuga deck. Um, which does make me think, okay, just guy fires. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try this, uh, only because we do get these scries here. So we do get to kind of look at the top. That is not what we wanted to see though. Um, unfortunately, Ashiok, hopefully going to be doing some work here. We just need to find a creature. Oh, that's helpful. Let's go ahead and drop this. Oh, I do really love Thassa. Um, is it actually good here, though, is the question. Hmm. I'll keep it. We're, we're learning. This is very much going to be a learning experience for us. So uh, do keep that in mind as we go through. Uh, and thank you also to Adam for kind of recommending this uh, idea to us. We certainly do appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and drop Ashiok here. Um, despite really not having anything to exile excuse me, on the opponent's side, it's nice to go ahead and get... Oh, man, we hit two of our reanimator spells. That feels terrible. Um, but that's okay. We'll we'll make do. Sure. Um, definitely looking at a fires deck. Tome Bound Lich. Uh, that actually is helpful for us. Um, let's go ahead and play this out first. All right, so what are we going to discard here? Um, I think probably just that. Uh, let's go ahead and scry here. We'll put that on the bottom. Uh, and I think here, again, we're going to do the same thing. Mill ourselves for four. Hopefully we don't hit too many concocks. Um, Agent. That was very, very good. Perfect. Um, so next turn, assuming we still have this, um, we'll be able to <clears throat> blood for bones it uh, into an agent of treachery, stealing the brazen borrower or anything else that they play. Ooh, they didn't play anything. Um, okay, well. Let's do this and hope... Uh, let's get agent... Uh, and we'll put the Tome Bound Lich in our hand here. And there we go. All right. Well, unfortunately, they were stuck on lands. Uh, they did not play one the previous turn, so I think that was a lot of it. But that's okay. Uh, Agent of Treachery really punishes you when you don't have lands. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. Um, that was exactly what this deck was looking to do, though. It sucks when you mill your reanimator spells. But, you know, that's, that's part of the risk of playing a reanimator deck. Uh, what I'd really like to see is us try and get a Garuda into the graveyard and just see how that works out. I would be very, very interested. Um, I am going to keep this. We're a little light on lands, but we do have the Secret Keeper uh, as well as the Tome Bound Lich here um, and Ashiok to help kind of fill our yard. And um, we're against a Yorian deck. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and mill ourselves. And we did get a Garuda. It's pretty good. Happy about that. 
Uh, let's do this. I'm just going to play this one out here. Um, not going to stress too much about getting more into the graveyard when we know we've got good targets. So we'll see what the opponent ends up doing here. Sure. Um, we do need some card draw here. We need to make sure we're going to hit our lands. So let's do this and we will discard uh, that Garuda. Uh, and now next turn we get to play Thassa, hopefully flash this, um, or excuse me, blink this, uh, and we'll see what we can do here. Two Garudas in the graveyard feels pretty good. Um, this is a cool card, by the way, uh, the, the Lava Brink uh, Venture, very interesting card in my opinion. Um, so what we can actually do is steal this... Um, if we'd like to. I don't know if we'd like to, though. I kind of want to save that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and flash this out. Or excuse me, blink this out. Um, I'm not going to attack here, though. Probably could have, and it would have been fine, actually, but that's okay. Um, we'll discard a Secret Keeper here. Now we do have Concoct up next turn. Uh, that attack was actually a bit of a miss. I definitely could have, uh, so that was kind of my bad. But that's okay. You learn, right? Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, put you in the graveyard. Put you in the graveyard. Let's get a Garuda. Alright, uh, it looks like we just got a Fibble Tip, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, and that's exactly what we're looking to do. Um, I'm going to attack a Johnny here. Um, my assumption is they're just going to block, and that's fine. They may even be able to kill this, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, let's Garuda again. And this is the cool part about this, is you get to, you get to do it twice. Oh, an agent. Oh, is this only... This is what we're learning. Uh, put a creature with an even converted mana cost. And that's okay. We don't really need this to be able to pull back um, the the agent. Though, that would be very, very cool. Very, very broken, but very, very cool. Um, but that's okay. We, uh, we're we still getting the value here. Oh, and that's perfect. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's blood for bones. We're going to sacrifice the fibble fit. Uh, let's get agent. Uh, and let's put, let's actually put this in our hand as a bit of an insurance policy. Uh, target a permanent. What do we want to target? I kind of think we're just going to take a Johnny. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and plus, let's gain a little bit of life. Um, let's attack in here. Swing with that, and swing with that. Alright, they're going to double it. That's fine, actually. Um, yeah, we'll block that first. Uh, let's do... You know what, let's just play this out here. I don't really think we need to do anything else. Uh, let's agent. We're going to steal one of their lands. Might as well. All right. We're feeling pretty good. Um, I'm really liking this reanimation deck. Uh, okay. That sucks uh, for sure. Yeah. It definitely hurts, but I, I also don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Um, really, we are just looking to pull back another reanimator spell. Um, and they are still short on lands, so... Let's do this. Doing this first uh, to see what we get here. Um, throw that. This... And actually, we'll just keep this on top. Now we'll be able to just play it, <laughs> uh, which is quite good. Um, 
we'll go ahead and drop out. Let's start pressuring uh, as much as we can here. Uh, and we actually get to draw a card here. That was awesome. Um, we'll get rid of Ashiok here. I don't think we need it. Um, and I think we'll just pass. Uh, this gives us an instant speed way to deal with any creature that they play, uh, or Planeswalker if they find it a Johnny. Um, and now we just get to Garuda again, uh, which feels really, really good. Uh, oh, let's do this first. So, a Johnny's Pride Mate or Fibblethip. Um, weirdly, I'm kind of going to go with Fibblethip here. Uh, we'll put that out. Go ahead and plus here. And we're going to get to draw two and discard two. I'm liking this deck, guys. This is a sweet one. Um, perfect. Uh, we'll drop this. And yeah, uh, here we just are going to get to play out Agent of Treachery. This is kind of the great thing about this deck is um, eventually you just start to be able to play these things, uh, which is great. Ooh. Oh, very good. Very nice. That was a very loud noise. <laughs> uh, but kind of doesn't matter, uh, if I'm going to be honest. They need a lot of lands to play that, so they're not going to anytime soon. Let's go ahead and play Agent of Treachery here. Uh, and we're just going to steal this. Uh, we'll play out our land. I'm going to pay the two, uh, mostly because we have plenty of life, um, and we can now leave Murder Rider open. And Agent draws us three cards now. We've stolen three permanents. I forgot about that. That feels pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah. And this is why we leave Murderous Rider up, guys. This is great. This is phenomenal. We're going to go ahead and blow up the Ajani. Uh, we can kill the other one here at the beginning of our turn. Not a big deal. Oh, let's see. Let's be aggressive. I think now is the time. Go ahead and play that. Gonna go ahead and sacrifice this. That goes back into our deck. Another really cool little interaction. Um, and might as well steal all their lands, right? We'll get this back just because it doesn't matter too much. Uh, don't really care what land we steal, it's not going to matter that much. Um, we'll put that on the bottom. I think we've got plenty. Uh, let's pull this up. Uh, it might have made sense to, to minus two there, but I'm not tremendously worried, <laughs> uh, if I'm honest. Um, we'll ditch a Thassa, we don't need more than, more than one. This deck is mean! Oh my gosh, this deck is mean! Um... I mean, I love it. This is pretty fun. Uh, all right, one last game. We'll see how it goes. Um, I uh, I'm liking this deck so far, guys. This is a sweet one. Um, Garuda is a bit hit or miss, uh, as we learned there. Um, obviously, it doesn't hit the agent. Not the biggest deal in the world. Um, and maybe that's just we need some better deck building. Um, but either way. I think it's still good enough that it's worth it, um, because you do get kind of insta-value, excuse me, off of a lot of stuff. So, uh, let's go ahead and Secret Keeper, and we hit a Garuda. Perfect. That's what we want. No idea what we're up against. Looks like Mono Red. Uh, glad we have a Secret Keeper. Holy crap. Um, and here, actually, I'm going to just double up on these Secret Keepers, I think. Um... Let's just get as much out as we can here to, to clog up the board. We've already got a good target in the graveyard. Not too worried about that. Um, we just want to make sure that we're not taking too much damage here in this early game. Good card to discard. 
And this is why we have all of these early game cards like these, is because of the, the aggro matchups. Um, now, that's not to say we're going to win this matchup. What I'm just saying is though this gives them something to have to get through. Uh, they are going to have to power these guys up pretty heavily before they can really damage our, our life total here. Um, this obviously does regardless, and that's fine. Um, but here, I'll go ahead and just try and kill this. If they want to pump this up and trade, it's totally fine by me. It's a two for one on my side. So, like, this is this is what's called devaluing uh, as much as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and scry. We don't need the land, and we'll play another lich. <coughs> Murderous rider. That's quite good. Um, we'll discard an island, uh, and we'll pass. Uh, that's just going to give us a way to deal with like a tour brand or you know whatever they happen to play. Um, that just gives us a way to to deal with it. Uh, what's nice too is if we leave that up at the appropriate time, what we can do is you know if they ember cleave something, for instance, we kill the creature uh, before damage is dealt um, with the the murderous rider, and then all of a sudden you know not as much damage at the very least comes through. Um. Let's try and do this. My assumption is they're gonna, you know, be able to kill it, and that's fine. Uh, I'm just trading off with as much as I can. They may even just Ember Cleave here. No? That's fine. We do at least get to kill it, and uh, this is the thing. We're turn four, um, and we've got... 20 life here so not feeling perfect by any means but we are feeling okay about our position um agent is great uh though we are a couple lands away from that so we're gonna have to be a little careful there um i'm gonna do this pre uh annex coming down just so they don't get the token um and i know we take two there technically four but i think that that's correct um they can swing in here that's kind of fine um I think I'll block there. Another agent, huh? Uh, really was kind of hoping for just a land for the next two turns, um, but that's okay. Uh, we'll we'll see what we can do. Um. Oh, oh, that's a problem. Uh, yeah. Um, we literally have to block that. We're going to try and take, uh, but not feeling good now, um, and that's not going to help us, unfortunately. Um, yep, they got it. Uh, Mono Red still coming out on top. That's okay. Uh, I think we'd put up a decent fight there. Uh, they just, unfortunately, were able to outpower us, which is what they do, so that makes sense. Uh, regardless, this deck is doing a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, we've already gotten two wins out of this. We'll obviously play another uh, three games to kind of test it out just a little bit further and see what we think. Uh, but I'm loving it. It's fun uh, for a little homebrew kind of deck. Uh, thank you for the inspiration to Adam, though, I will say. Uh, looking at his list really inspired a lot of what we did here. So I do appreciate the uh, suggestion. If anybody else has a suggestion, please leave it uh, in the comment section wherever you'd like. Uh, if you're not already in our Discord channel, we did kind of re rebuff the discord a little bit uh, and we do have a deck suggestion channel there uh, so you can leave some suggestions if you would like to uh, we'd certainly appreciate it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like or a comment down below congratulations to thomas lennon for winning our giveaway we really do appreciate everybody entering uh, and i will see you very soon with part two of this demir reanimator list very excited